India is struggling to breathe, overwhelmed by the record surge in coronavirus cases. More than 400,000 cases per day. The country is facing a national emergency as its healthcare system buckles, treating patients from the second wave of coronavirus. In this crisis, there is only one hope. The Bible says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So let us turn to Him and cry out for the nation. Pray for India. Jesus, 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 we come before you, Lord. Our brother, our friend, our saviour, our helper, our redeemer, our healer. We just lay our lives before you now, Lord Jesus, in the confusion, in the difficulty of this world. You walked this earth, Lord. You know this world. You are so close to us and you understand what is happening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your, thank you, God, Father, for sending your son for his humanity. We just come before you now, Lord, and we lay all of our burdens at your feet. Our confusion, our lack of understanding, our lack of wisdom and knowledge, but you, Father, and you, Jesus, you know you have all wisdom, all knowledge. It is your peace that we come here and we seek from you, that you desire to grant to us. We thank you, Jesus, for this time. We thank you for your mercy. We ask you to be merciful, Lord. Increase our understanding increase our love in this time of despair. We pray a special blessing, Lord. We ask you to extend your hand of healing now. We praise you and we bless your name, just as the apostles in Acts prayed and sang psalms and thanked you, God, for their persecution and they prayed that you would extend your healing hand, Lord. That the good news would come to the new world. We ask you now, Lord Jesus, Son of the Father, all-powerful, all-loving. We know that your heart is moved towards the people and the nation of India now. Pour out your love, Lord. Pour out your mercy. Send your Holy Spirit. Send your comfort. Now, we ask this, Father, in Jesus' name. Reading after reading over the last two weeks, Lord. Ask, and it will be done for you. Ask my Father, I will give it to you. We thank you, Jesus, for the comfort of your word. And so we come before you. We are so humbled to have you as our God, to have you as a, a loving God that we can come to in times of desperate situations. And the situation on the earth now is desperate. You can see it, Lord, India Extend your healing hand, Lord. India is like a, an example of the desperation of the whole world, the whole earth that needs you, Lord, particularly souls that need healing and restoration. And there are so many people in India, Lord, bodies, lives that need restoration. So many people that have passed have mercy on them, Lord. But we approach you in great faith, Jesus. We ask you to extend your healing hand, Lord. Send your Holy Spirit now over the nation of India. All of our brothers and sisters. 
you, Father, were at the centre of each of the moments of their creation. They are your children, Father. And you love them all. No matter what part of India, no matter what religion or no religion, no matter what faith, they are your children, Father. They are your creation. Send your Holy Spirit. We lay claim to your promise. Jesus, whatever we ask in your name, the Father will grant us. People of faith, let us rally now at your feet, Jesus. At your embrace, Jesus. Your heart of mercy on fire for love of your children. Our rescuer, our healer. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch forth your hand, your healing hand, Lord. To the glory of your Father's name, Jesus. Father, send your Holy Spirit, the healer, the comforter for those families who have lost loved ones. Pour out your Holy Spirit. Wash that nation, Lord. Wash the whole nation of India. Wash all those people, Lord. All of my brothers and sisters there in India. Wash them now, Lord, in your spirit, in water, and with your precious blood. Cover them now, Lord Jesus. Restore their health. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Nothing is impossible for you, Lord God. Come, Holy Spirit. Renew the face of the earth. To the glory of the Father, come, Holy Spirit. We thank you for the victory of the cross, Jesus. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the great nation of India. Bless them, Lord. Bless them now in your mercy. Heal them, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Draw them closer to yourself. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the witness of your Holy Spirit. Come, Lord Jesus. Bless that nation, Lord. We curse the virus. We break its hold on India. We send it back to the feet of Jesus, that you would do with it what you will, Jesus. But we command it to leave now in Jesus' name. Any spirit of infirmity and affliction be broken now off that nation, of each of its individuals, and be subject to the, and at the feet of Jesus, that you would do with them what you will, Lord. Pour out your spirit now, Lord. Straighten limbs. Heal the sick. Bless you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your promise that you would never leave us alone, Lord. You would always be with us to the end of time. Thank you for the promises, Lord Jesus, that we would drink poison, we would handle snakes, we would speak tongues, we would lay hands on the sick. And so now we ask you to pour your Holy Spirit and pour it out upon the believers in the nation of India. Give them a boldness and a zeal, Lord, to speak your good news to the people of India and that signs and wonders would accompany their boldness and their zeal, Lord. We pray for a new Pentecost, a new Pentecost, Lord, for the nation of India, that it would banish illness from that nation, Lord, you would bring comfort, Lord, through the good news. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the knowledge that we have a home in your Father's house, that you have built a room for us, that you would not have told us unless you had built a room. Thank you, Lord. Bless those people. Despite the weight of what they are under, Lord, give them renewed spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Fill them with life. Fill them with love, Lord Jesus, now. 
Give them renewed zeal to speak your message boldly in times where they are in the darkness of that valley, Lord. That they would be a light, Lord. And that signs and wonders would follow them, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Send your spirit now, Lord Jesus. We pray this in Jesus' name. Father, send your spirit. Thank you, Lord God. Bless you, Jesus. We just remove any darkness and scourge now. We command it to leave that nation of India. Shine your light, Lord Jesus, across the whole nation now. We pray for a complete conversion of that nation, a complete transformation, Lord Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the power of your precious blood. You have opened the gateway to the pouring forth of your Spirit, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Your love will never be outdone, Lord. Your generosity will never be outdone, Lord. Father, you are so faithful. And so we come to you with boldness and we ask you now, pour forth your spirit. Pour forth your spirit in abundance. Wash the nation clean of this scourge, Lord. Wash the wounds clean. Wash the hearts clean of sorrow, anxiety, affliction. Thank you, Jesus. Of sadness. Come, Holy Spirit, wipe the tears away. Come with the joy, the infused joy of your good news that we are loved, that we have a home, and we look forward to our life with you, Lord Jesus, and with the Father in his house. We thank you for the Holy Spirit and that we will pull heaven down now, Jesus. Let us pull heaven down now onto the continent of India. We thank you and we praise you for the mighty men of God that live in that nation and are praying now. Thank you for them, Lord. Fill them. Multiply their numbers. More, Lord Jesus, more of your spirit for the nation of India. More healing, more joy. In the midst of that grief, Lord Jesus, your good news of the joy that we have in your love for us, a love that has already been poured out. Thank you, Jesus, for your cross. Bless you, Lord God. We step into that love now, Lord Jesus. We claim it. I claim it now for the nation of India, for the whole nation. All the millions, hundreds of millions of people, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Touch them with your spirit. Be close to them, Lord Jesus. Comfort them in their loss and their grief. I curse this virus in Jesus' name. I command it in Jesus' name to go back to whence it came to never return. Bless you, Lord God. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are Lord of heaven and earth. Thank you, Lord God. I command all darkness, all illness and this virus to be gone now from the nation of India and its people. I know your heart and your love for them, Jesus. Thank you for your love for them, Lord God. Uh, we ask for the intercession of St. Thomas, beloved of India. Thank you, St. Thomas. Intercede for this people now. This beloved people that you travelled to and brought the faith to. Come, St. Thomas. Come and intercede with the Lord now with me. Plead his mercy upon these people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, St. Thomas. 
I speak to the guardian angel of India in Jesus' name. Go into combat. Saint Michael and all your legions go into combat now in Jesus' name. Protect that nation, cleanse it. Remove this virus and the illness. Your holy angels, Father, calm and comfort them. Bring them peace in this tribulation. Comfort them, Lord. We pray your victory of your precious blood over this nation, Lord Jesus. Bless you, Lord God. I thank you for the madness of our faith, Lord Jesus. That mountains can move in your name, Lord Jesus. And we command it now over this nation of India. We stand up, we claim the promise and the truth of your words. We are just small and humble, but we stand now. I stand and I claim it in Jesus' name. Because of your precious blood, because of what you have already done. Not what you are going to do, what you have already done. That the victory is there in the cross and in the pouring out of your blood, Jesus. To the glory of your Father's name, cleanse this nation of India. Of this scourge, bless you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, St. Thomas. Thank you for your intercession. Thank you, Father, for all the legions you are sending now to India. I believe this in faith, Lord, that you will comfort them. Restoration will come. That your kingdom would come upon the nation of India in a new way now, in Jesus' name. A turning of hearts. A renewal of families. A new unity and a peace would fall upon that nation. You would replace anxiety, death, illness, sickness. They are all broken off now and cursed and placed at your feet, Jesus. We ask you now, Lord, to replace it. Speak to us now, Jesus. What do you want to replace it with? Love. Joy. Knowledge of your love for them, Lord. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Come, Holy Spirit. A strengthening, a great strengthening of that nation, that it would be a light on a hill, that it would be second to no other nation, Lord. It would be able to stand up, Lord, in full stature against all adversaries. Thank you, Lord Jesus, both temporal and spiritual, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I prophesied over the nation of India. I thank you for your love for it. I thank you for the faith that is in India. I ask that it be multiplied, Lord, Thousands and thousands and thousands fold. Millions fold, Lord Jesus. The entire nation converted to your name, in service of your name. That from it would come the renewal of the face of the earth. That great missionaries would come from this nation, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing there. I take my eyes off the earth and I put them on heaven and your eyes, Lord Jesus. Give us Christ's eyes and Christ's mind. Thank you, Jesus. I see greatness on the horizon. I see a wonderful plan. I thank you, Jesus, for your plan, for your Holy Spirit. I thank you for the great men that you are raising up, the great women that you are raising up, the beautiful children that are coming into families, to come and to know you. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your victory, Lord Jesus. Bless you, Jesus. I lay claim to this truth, Lord Jesus, of your cross, that the earth is your footstool, Lord, that your will be done, that heaven would be poured out, that your kingdom would be expanded that you would turn this diabolical happening 
just as your cross seemed to be complete surrender. Thank you, Jesus, for your Holy Spirit and the hope that we have in you, that this diabolical happening would in fact be the resurrection of this nation, Lord. And I thank you and I praise you for that knowledge and for your wonderful, perfect plan. Pour out your spirit, Lord. Give fortitude and increase in trust, a perseverance to the people of India, Lord God. I thank you for your wonderful plan, Lord Jesus. Bless your holy name. Bless you, Lord Jesus, as we stare into the jaws of death, Jesus, as you did in the garden. And I see victory for this nation, Lord. New light, new life, new hope, new horizons, and an outpouring of your spirit as it never happened before. I thank you, Jesus. I claim this in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord God. Bless you, Jesus. Thank you for this time with you. We join you now, Jesus, in praying that our Father, to our Father, our Father, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, especially the people of India. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, Lord. And you know who they are. Forgive them, Lord. Forgive them, forgive them. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you, Father. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for this hope, Lord.